Hello everyone, and welcome to my first fate, Stay Night Character Analysis Origin, whatever you want to call it so without further ado. Let's get started. Till this day and age, people are still confused about who exactly Emir, or Archer Emir, is so allow me to properly explain. The heroic spirit Emir comes from an alternate timeline of the original fate route, only he doesn't end up with Saber due to not being able to save her heart. Following the conclusion of the Holy Grail War, Shiro continues his pursuit of magecraft studies at the Clock Tower alongside Rin Tosaka, a path he treads in order to refine and augment his capabilities. Eventually, in his twenties, he transitions into a freelance mage akin to his late father. During this phase, he acquires his distinctive scarlet mantle, a hallmark bestowed upon him by seal of the burial agency. Now, later down the line, he encounters and fights against beings that were similar to that of Angra Mani Yu, or as I like to call him, Angry Mango. Sometimes even angry Matthew. Unfortunately, Shiro was forced to retreat from that particular fight due to not having enough strength against them. It wouldn't be until later on, after his death and ascendance to the throne of Heroes, that those beings were targets of the counterforce. Now, getting back to the main event at hand, when Shiro is confronted by a calamity which had the potential of killing one hundred people before him, he decided to make a contract with the world to become a hero capable of producing miracles and become a heroic spirit after his death. He believed he could save both the lives of the dying people before him and save even more as a hero after his death. Although he desperately fought to end the war, he was in turn betrayed by his allies and was falsely accused of being the mastermind behind the war and was executed later on by having his neck snapped via hanging. Even though he had been betrayed, Shiro still smiled, because at the end all that mattered to him was the fact that he had stopped the war and still saved the people. He believed that after his death he could continue saving people, however, the world or the will of humanity ironically gave him the duty as a heroic spirit to slaughter all humans at a particular location when mankind is at the threshold of complete self-destruction, a counter-guardian, if you would. While his aspiration to continue saving lives as a heroic spirit does materialize, it is a path fraught with the requirement to remediate the consequences of human actions, often necessitating the termination of lives to salvage humanity collectively. A departure from his initial vision of saving all to the more somber reality of safeguarding humanity without evoking human casualties. He adopts a strategy of sacrificing one to save ten, sacrificing ten to save a hundred, and eventually resorting to the sacrifice of hundreds to ensure the well-being of thousands. The relentless confrontation with his own ideals and the unending contradiction with his convictions lead him to deny his own essence and principles. Despite acknowledging the throne of heroes' detachment from the constraints of time and space, Archer becomes consumed by the fervent belief that his deliverance from a tormenting existence atop the Hill of Swords can only be achieved by being summoned into an era housing Sharu Emir and eliminating his past self. This endeavor rests upon the paradoxical foundation of Sharu Emir's termination before forming a contract with a liar and that this act is orchestrated by a Shiro Emiya who successfully forges that pact, an intricate temporal paradox that could potentially negate his existence as a counter-guardian. However, as history reveals, his pursuit proves futile in the unlimited bladed works timeline, while in heaven's feel, minimal intervention is required due to the timeline's Shiro prioritizing a self-centric approach favoring the rescue of one over the masses. In a closing note, it's crucial to distinguish that the Archer in Heaven's Feel does not derive from the unlimited Blade Works cast. narrative. You Rather, he remains the Archer time. stemming from the alternative fate route. This, this is substantiated by disappear. Archer's declaration of existing outside the conventional fabric of space and time, with the sole exception of Emia Alter, a topic to be addressed in a forthcoming video if this installment garners positive reception. In conclusion, I extend my gratitude for your engagement with this presentation. Should you find this discourse